So I've been having some trouble with my turn signal switch, actually the high beams in my truck here. So we're going to replace it with this new switch from Freightliner here. Um, as you can see, this is your turn signal, four ways. Then this little black piece here is your high beams. You just, it's just a little button switch like that. What happened with mine was these wires are kind of fine. They can't take a lot of vibration and it broke off inside that little black piece and couldn't solder it. And you can't just buy this little button switch that I can find. So the one I have in the truck wasn't that old and I hated to replace it. So I just cut the wires and wired it to this toggle switch for my bright lights for now, but it's not really working out anymore. The wires keep breaking and, and shorting out. So it's just time to replace it. Um, it's about a $120 switch and I was hoping that toggle switch would last a lot longer, but it's not going to. So we're going to replace it here. It's really not that hard. You need a, everybody calls this a star head. It's a Torx head. Uh, what number is this here? Oh, the number's worn off. I think it's like a T24, something like that. You'll have to match it up with yours, but there's four screws holding it in. This is just a hole I drilled for that switch and I kind of missed and hit the steering column, but no harm done. Right here, there is uh, four screws. So we'll start by taking them off. Um, this top part, we might need to loosen that, move it out of the way, but sometimes you can do it just pushing it to the side a little bit. All depends. So I'll get these taken apart here. taken this apart many times so you'll get good at it eventually it helps to have somebody holding the camera for you otherwise I have to try to work around it and Okay, so this is free. The only thing holding it on is those wires that I rigged in there. And I'm kind of pressed for time because I got to get to work. So I'm just going to cut those wires and I'll deal with this switch later. Take it out later. I'll get my cutters in there. There. So, okay, got that off. So now. I'm just going to tilt the wheel a little bit down here. And I guess I will have to take that top piece off. But there's only two screws that hold it, so it's not that hard. There we go. You don't really have to remove it. You just gotta be able to move it. Oops, sorry. Okay. All right, you gotta back up a little. And there's a screw here. All right, so maybe I will have to remove that all the way. I'll have to extend the steering wheel.
there now it's all exposed so then there's a couple screws over here one on the top Ugh. okay before I pop that one all the way out we gotta unplug this wiring harness here to get it to screw on the bottom so I'll do that right now it can come off kind of hard There we go. Now we can get at everything. There we go. And I lied. This one up here didn't need to come off. So we're just going to put that back on right now. Same with this one. My mistake. Okay, I'm on out of here. So here's the old one. You can see that that black button is just gone because I took it out of there. And these wires, they just keep breaking because they're, they're small and there's a lot of vibration in these trucks. So I was wrong. You really only need to take those bottom two screws out. So We'll get the new one ready to go in here. And they want to cross start on me, so I need to get in a better position here. Thank you. Sometimes you got to be a contortionist to do some of these things but for $140 an hour that a dealer charges I can bend myself like a pretzel and this ain't even that bad so just make sure you don't really need to see it here but you don't pinch your wires in there you don't want to do that there's a little groove for them to go in Okay, so now we got it mounted. We'll hook these wires back up here. They can only go one way, so don't worry too much about it. It's nice and tight. So before we hook the rest of the steering column up, why don't we check everything, make sure it works. I'm just going to pause it. We're going to check the lights, then I'll be right back. Okay, so the lights work. Everything works. We're ready to put it back together. I put the top piece on already. Forgot to start the video, so pretty easy to do. You'll figure it out. So this is the wiring for your horn. Just be careful not to pinch that anywhere. You don't want to wreck more stuff. and Make sure that's not going to pinch anywhere. That looks really good. So there's a little groove here it tucks in. There we go.
And that is it. That's how you change your turn signal switch and the switch for your high beams. If you're having trouble with your high beams, that's the first place you want to check. Um, because them wires are pretty brittle and, and tiny. They don't take a lot of vibration. So, um, that job at Freightliner, they charge, I think book time is one hour of labor. And depending on the shop, it's about $140 an hour um, to do that. And I did it here in about 15 minutes. Um, so you'll save a ton of money doing that one yourself. Um, it's really not that bad to open this up and uh, really nothing you're going to damage. So hope that helped.